Have you been hesitant to pick up a duplex because you're worried about taking two poles and one of them might break? Well, stick around because I think I figured out a couple of options for you. Okay, so check it out. Looks like you actually can half pitch your uh, duplex if you're in a pinch. If you ever break a, uh, if you ever break a trekking pole and uh, you're only a solo person, you don't have somebody else with another set of trekking poles, you essentially can pitch it like a lunar solo. Isn't that cool? And certainly has plenty of space inside. Um, yeah, you could live in there. No issues. It's certainly got plenty of space inside. Now, of course, that, that back end over there is going to be loose no matter what you do. I'll go ahead and go around the back and uh, show you guys what I did over there. But essentially, it's in the shape of a lunar solo, pretty much. Or kind of like the old Solplex. And in reality, if you broke your pole, let's bring it around back here so you can kind of see what the back looks like. So the back is obviously a mess. Uh, because that's where you don't have the, the stabilization, but it actually holds pretty good. And right here, I guess this you can you can tighten down a little bit. Of course, you wouldn't want to do this often, but uh, yeah, it'll allow you to to pitch the uh, duplex with just one pole. And the reality is, if you break the pole and you still have the handle without a problem, you could technically. Kind of like the old Soulplex used to be, you could shove the, the edge of the handle into here and lift the side up. Now, here's the one concern here. This netting is, is kind of on the other side, so you definitely have like a uh, an area that can be breached by rain. I guess maybe if you use the, uh, let me set this down. Oh, look at that. Some, uh, some sirens, who would have thought that? My goodness, I would have never thought that that would happen in my neighborhood, sirens. <clears throat> you know, you could, you could probably set a rock on here. I know it wouldn't be optimal, but essentially you could set a rock on here and cover this up. Use the toggle and set a rock on here to kind of keep the rain out. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and I took the bottom out of the pole, pretending like the bottom had broken, and I went ahead and I, I placed placed it at the highest point where it's a stop. So pretty much this is about as high as we can get this back pole over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to pitch pitch this over here in the back and see see how that uh, see how that ends up. Maybe we get a pretty good pitch on the uh, the back end over here and kind of cures our little problem here too. Look at that. That's totally doable. If you were in a pinch, that could totally work for you. And needless to say, it opens up the space on the inside a whole lot more. Kind of reminiscent of a basically a really big, uh, really big Soulplex. Let's give you a look from this side over here. So that's kind of what you would do if it was raining, and yeah, you have a little bit of a hole over there, but uh, it's certainly a lot better protection than before. One other thing too that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead on the other side, and I'm going to open up the doors. Let's pretend it's not raining, and you want to open up the doors and just kind of have full venting. Let's go ahead and give that a shot and see how sturdy that is. So check that out, that's pretty cool. If the uh, rain is not an issue, you can certainly half pitch your Lunar Solo like this. Again, 
We're pretending that the opposite side pole is broken. That side over there. We're pretending that the pole is broken. And uh, this one is just set to the normal height uh, that you would do on, uh, on this side, 48 inches I believe it is. I think it's 120 centimeters. And uh, yeah, totally, totally doable. Let me hop in there. You guys can kind of kind of take a look at what I look like when I'm in there. See what actual kind of space we have. Let me just reset the camera here and I'll hop in there. Dude, this can totally work. They're really... There's ample, there's ample amounts of space in here. I mean, this up here, yeah, it's, it's tilting down, but... I mean, this can, this can totally work. I mean, hey, you lift your legs up, relax. We've got plenty of room over here. That's just the main thing. If it is actually, if it is actually raining, you just need to mine this side to make sure the water doesn't come in here. But um, yeah, this is totally a viable solution. So if you're kind of reluctant to pick up the duplex because you're worried about the two-pole design and if it, what happens when you break a pole, um, there's a couple of options for you. You can do it without a pole or do it with a pole that has a section broken and uh, totally viable shelter. Let me bring it down to the uh, to the no pole. Let me bring it down to the no pole setting, and I'll hop back in. You guys can take a look at uh, how much space there is when there's no pole over here. There'll be considerably less space, but nonetheless, we'll give you guys an idea of what kind of space we're talking about uh, when there's no pole. Okay, what I did is I went ahead and just left my shoes back over there. It's not as abrasive as rocks, maybe that's an option for you. So the one pole setup is assuming that the, the other trekking pole that you have has just been completely destroyed. So uh, let's hop in here and see what the difference is. Okay, so this is definitely closer to my face. Um, but again, it's really no different than like if I had a lunar solo, for example. You know, this is pretty close to, close to my head. It could definitely work in a pinch, you know. I'll go ahead and lay down. I certainly have plenty of room. I close this up. Still totally doable. And I just gotta mine the back side over here. <coughs> yeah, there you go. That's a dog from yesterday. Yeah. Bella. <laughs>